Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. I would like to make this video titled Journey of Manhood, Signs of a Good Warrior and Traps of a Man. And I will start with signs of a good warrior. Number one, courage. That means that a warrior is courageous uh, in facing you know, facing problems without fear and also handling situations without without fear and um, number two is discipline a warrior is disciplined he keeps his dignity his arrows are clean and they are ready to shoot number three he is always present. That means that he is always there with his family. His children always see him. Yes. Number four, he has self-control. That means that he, is, uh, he has uh, control over his emotions, his appetite, his, um, his feelings, etc. And also that he admits that when he's wounded he does not uh, stay with the wounds he ensures that he receives help from people who can help him uh, treat his wounds and uh, wounds are not just physical wounds but uh, wounds can be emotional can also be spiritual yes and also he shares. He shares his ideas with other people, other men. He also shares his uh, ideas, uh, emotions, even problems with with his wife and also with his children. Yes, I'll go to the traps of a man. Number one, choices. Choices have consequences. Uh, once a man makes a wrong choice, that means that uh, his wrong choice not only affects him, but also affects his family, his nation, and it also affects his generations. Number two, women. 98% um, of the warriors have fallen into traps of women that means that um, if you get a wrong woman or you lust after her that means that she will bring you down and the best example is Samson who found a woman with the wrong spirit that is Delilah who was used by the Philistines to bring him down and if you if you read Judges chapter 16 and 2 Samuel chapter 11 at your own time you'll notice that not uh, even David himself was a victim of, of of women he fell into the wrong hands when he fell in love with Bathsheba who was Uriah's wife and he saw her when she was naked and she was bathing that was a trap for him and yes women can trap can trap men so easily yes and also sexuality was created by God uh, so that man can uh, be productive reproduce and dominate and multiply number three pride pride has brought many men down but, uh, if you're very proud God will resist you God hates pride yes if you will read uh, Proverbs chapter 11 verse 2 James chapter 4 verse 6 and Obadiah yeah, chapter 1 verse 3 uh, at your own time you'll notice that pride is very bad pride brings people down and uh, God doesn't like a proud person. 
Number four, money. The love of money is the root of all evil. Money can bring people down. If you love money more than God, uh, money can bring you down. Yes, money can bring people down. Man, money can make you do evil things. For example, stealing, being involved in illegal, illegal stuff, etc. Number six is greed. Yes, greed. People can be greedy of, of food, money, uh, women, uh, wealth, etc. And Greed has is a big problem in this country, especially in our leaders, where they some of them are involved in corrupt scandals, and this thing is very dangerous. It will make greed will make you uh, lose your integrity, and men have done illegal stuff, illegal things, have misused money as a result of greed. Yes, Solomon was also a victim of greed he had like a thousand wives and 300 concubines that one is greed yes number seven is power and success yes power not only destroys nations but destroys generations and power and success makes one to be arrogant once you are successful you tend to forget god you tend to look down at others and if you have money let me advise you do not think that because you have money and you're successful you can um, abuse people no if you if you read proverbs chapter 13 verse 10 uh, Proverbs chapter 16 verse 8 18 you read them at your own time yes number 8 is addictions yes uh, this thing is very problematic uh, towards uh, among many men especially even young men old men not only addicted to drugs and alcohol but also addicted to pornography masturbation yeah, people can be addicted to cigarettes, uh, uh, alcohol, even bang. Yes, this thing it needs God to deliver you. Uh, pornography is very dangerous. It destroys the mind. It also destroys your soul. And many men have fallen into this trap of addictions of pornography even masturbation yes this thing of addiction is a trap it's a very big trap then number nine is sex sex is very is, it can trap many men it destroys a warrior and it not only destroys you but also destroys your family it destroys your business it destroys your ministry Many past, some pastors have been caught uh, having sex with other people's wives, uh, which is very dangerous. Um, it has also destroyed business by destroying your reputation, and sex is is seen in on in TVs, internet, uh, church. Uh, for example, pastors having sex with their members, which is very sad, and also streets. Uh, yes, those are the traps of a man, and those are the signs of a good warrior. Hope you will avoid those traps if you are a man. Hope that you pray to God to save you from those traps that I have mentioned. Because those traps are can not only destroy you, but also destroy your family and destroy generations. Pray to God that He will deliver you from those traps. 